guys, so um, yeah, we're starting on the restoration of this old wooden uh, strip plank canoe. I've got a little helper here. And um, yeah, so um, basically, you can go and have a look at my 10 step um, video on how to actually redo your boat or 10 steps that you need to do. Um, in this video, we're going to go directly to step 3 or actually step 4 basically. So, step 1 is get a boat, step 2 is uh, clean the boat, step 3 is actually uh, take all your. Um, um, markings and everything and um, look at where all the little fittings go and everything and really mark that and uh, um, catalog that use your cell phone if need be I actually use the video to do a good um, little once over and so yeah so now we're going to go over to step four is obviously um, one of the parts is actually removal of the hardware so before we can start, start sanding and everything we need to remove the hardware and um, yeah get all, all those things done, done. So for some reason they use these, um, not even, uh, yeah, it's probably galvanized, but over here it's galvanization has come off and it's all rusted, so I'm trying to get this off, but it's, uh, I'm just going to grind it off because... So over here you can see, um, this was actually just normal bolts on both of these sides, um, so yeah, we're just going to and knock these off there you go that's the one side on and okay guys and so now I've actually um, just taken out all the seats so that just opens up the boat nicely now that piece was ply late but was added later on it's completely um, in same mood as we say in Afrikaans so it'll be removed and I'll replace it just yeah, sometimes I just like using some old hand tools so for these um, Pop rivets, it's like usually quite easy. Ah! So, uh, hey, my helper. Um, they usually just come quick, out very quickly. Oh, so oh, mm. And there you go. Pop oh. rivet is out. So yeah. So I'll just continue doing that all around. So just using a normal little. Scraper, if you can call that, and a rubber hammer. I uh, don't want to use a wood hammer or a um, chisel because um, the chisel is going to get hurt by the aluminium that's still left in there. So I'm just using this. I actually just want to lift up this. I don't actually want to do any damage or work. And obviously, the rubber hammer um, impacts it a bit and causes such a big hollow canoe. Um, it echoes a lot and I'm in a complex, so yeah, don't want the people to actually. Um, complain about me um, doing that so yeah so these are the two tools that I'm going to use and there as well um, so yeah so let's go ahead and so yeah so this is just to loosen this all up um, there's definitely been a significant, um, how can I say, um, bit of a warping going on that they tried to um, stop the whole time with some fiberglass. Uh, but what I'm going to do is um, I'm not going to remove everything, so I'm going to keep the gunnels, the well, aluminium gunnels, that's quite in place here, keeping the shape of the top of the boat. Hey guys, so here's a little tool that I um, did quite a while back for other projects, and I've been using it instead of a method that I showed just up front, um, drilling out the um, the uh, pop rivets if um but i usually do if i want to reuse pieces um if i don't actually care about it i'll just use this tool and really um use good old brute force so basically just pops in there and there you go and off is that easy eh? so yeah i've done quite a few of these always just be eye protection because these things do jump doesn't soar, but if it gets into your eye, you're gonna. From there, uh, next thing would be to get some marine ply, um, make some templates, get some nice hardwood as well for the um, frame that I want to do in here, and um, yeah, take it from there. So I don't think it's a uh, lot more that we can do on the Sunday. Well, 
um, all the hardware stores um, being closed. So I think I'm going to lie to Bri. I, me and my son is going to have some quality time and um, see you in the next video. Hello.